Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about nested and inner class in java programming so guys in java you can define a class within another class which is called as a nested class so such class is known as a nested class or an inner class so as you can see over here class we have the outer class over here and inside this we are also defining another class which is called as nested class or the inner class so guys let us check this with the help of examples so let us move to ide and over here i will create a outer class so over here we will create class animal over here which will be the outer class in this case and inside this we will have another class so one of the animals is dog so over here we will keep class dog as another class which is a inner class so guys when we define a class as you can see over here we are defining a class dog in this case inside another class that is the outer class is animal over here so this inner class is called nested class and it can have its properties on its own such as the fields and the different methods as well so let's say it is having one of the fields as legs so int legs which means how many legs a particular dog can have so guys we will keep it as four over here as the fixed value and then let's say we have a method inside this class dog which is going to return void and then let's say we have make sound as the method name so guys over here we will have just a print statement so let me just put a print statement over here so it is going to have a string bark bark and guys in this way we can easily create an inner class inside the outer class now guys how do we access this make sound that is present inside the inner class that is this dog class so in order to do that we have to create an object of this inner class by using the outer class over here so the very first thing that we have to do is we have to create an object of the outer class first so i'll just copy this and paste this over here and then we will have animal object as the object of the outer class so we will have new animal over here and then guys using this animal object that is the object of the outer class over here we can create a new object of this class dog so over here in order to create the object of a dog class we have to specify the outer class that is animal class followed by a dot and then as you can see we have dog as the suggestion so we use the inner class name that is dog and then guys followed by the name of the object that we want to create so it is going to be dog object so we have dog object it is equal to and then after the equal to operator we will use this animal object that we have created which is the object of the outer class so this animal object dot we will have the new operator and then followed by space and then we have the inner class name that is dog so after dog we have open and close brackets so as you can see we are using the outer class name followed by dot and then the inner class name in order to create the object of the inner class followed by equal to and then we have the object of the outer class that we already created in the previous line of code followed by dot and then we have the new operator and then we have the name of the inner class and then guys using this dog object we can access both that is the legs of the dog and then the make sound as well so what we will do over here is the very first thing is we are going to print the number of legs over here so i'll just print the number of legs of dog is and then we will access this dog object and then dog object dot as you can see we have legs as one of the variables so we will have dog object dot legs to be printed and then guys we will also print the make sound so over here make sound is printing the sound that the dog makes so what we will do is we will just call the dog object over here and then dot followed by the make sound so guys in this way we will have two strings that will be printed over here that will be number of legs of dog is and then followed by dog object dot legs will refer to the legs integer over here as you can see which is assigned as the value of 4 and then we will have the make sound being called using the dog object dot make sound and this line will get printed let me just save this file and try running this code now 
so guys as we can see number of legs of dog is four and bark bark is getting printed and guys in this way we can easily create the inner class inside the outer class as you can see and create the objects either of the outer class or the inner class and we can use the fields and methods of the inner class as well in this way that is by using the outer class name and the outer class objects as well so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is static fields in java class so stay tuned